Embedded within the ELIMP support complex, the target laboratory extends over 270 square meters of ISO 6 and ISO 7 cleanroom environment. This particular lab is dedicated to the development, fabrication, characterization, and microassembly of targets for experiments with high power laser and gamma beams accommodating a wide range of state-of-the-art equipment and a specialized team of material scientists and engineers. The target laboratory is set up to address demands of targets and provide support throughout the entire process, from the proposal evaluation, the technical feasibility, and the final target's delivery. On top of that, it also performs research and development activities in order to continuously develop and upgrade novel target designs. The fabrication room houses two main deposition systems. The first of these is a custom-made ultra-high vacuum RF or DC sputtering deposition tools dedicated to the fabrication of ultra-thin and thin nanometer films, as well as a thick micrometer films using metals, oxides, nitrides, alloys, nanoparticles, and hybrid structures such as multi-layers. These tools' main features include a vacuum chamber dedicated to oxide deposition with four RF or DC magnetrons and a mass spectrometer, a second vacuum chamber for metal and nitride deposition equipped with six RF or DC magnetrons, a nanogen unit for nanoparticle deposition down to 13 nanometer, and the final load log for in situ sample transfer between the process chamber and for the argon ion and milling process with rotating and tilting capabilities. The deposition systems allows working with wafers up to 150 mm in diameter and deposition temperature up to 850 degrees Celsius for metals and nitrides or 1000 degrees Celsius for oxides. It has a base pressure of 5 times 10 to the minus 9 millibar, rotating sample stage and controllable target to sample distance. The structuring equipment available for surface patterning via optical lithography includes a mask aligner for the alignment of lithography mask on both sides of the wafer, a programmable spin coater and two thermostatic hot plates. Equipped with a deep UV lamp, it allows a lateral resolution down to 500 nanometer on wafers up to 200 millimeter in diameter. The reactive ion etching tool is used for surface structuring via chemical and physical dry etching by means of inductively coupled plasma, equipped with an ICP source and two high and low frequency generators. This system allows for Bosch and cryo etching technologies in the same chamber for yielding vertical structures with smooth sidewalls and a broad high to width ratio. Several optical microscopes are available for performing fast analysis of surfaces. The main optical microscope features episcopic bright field and dark field imaging, episcopic differential interface contrast, bright field simplified polarization, as well as diascopic bright field and epifluorescence modes. The microscope is equipped with a motorized sample stage, a halogen lamp, a CCD camera and several magnification objectives. The second ultra-high vacuum fabrication system is used for yielding thin and ultra-thin metallic films using E-beam deposition. The system features a multi-pocket source up to six different materials, a 10 to the minus 9 millibar base pressure, an up to 850 degrees Celsius deposition temperature and rotating sample stage for homogeneous deposition. The characterization room is dedicated to the analysis and examination of the obtained targets. Here, several equipment are available. First of them, the scanning electron microscope is applied with an energy dispersive X-ray spectrometer for the elemental analysis and an electron backscatter diffraction detector for crystallographic characterization. The CEM is equipped with an electron beam lithography tool for nano and microstructuring of the surface of the targets. It also holds a Peltier stage for biological samples, an STM unit, 
a beam deceleration mode, and in situ plasma decontamination. Moreover, two tabletop sputtering systems are available for coating non-conductive samples with gold and carbon. The second equipment, a multi-purpose X-ray diffractometer, is dedicated to high-resolution microstructural and quantitative analysis of powders, thin, thick, or multi-layer films, but also of bulk samples and nanoparticles of materials with crystalline, amorphous, and nanocrystalline structure. The XRD equipment is used to analyze the composition, orientation, and texture, strain, and stress of the samples, thickness, density, surface uniformity, phase identification, and size distribution of the samples. Its main features include a 9 kilowatt rotating anode, a high-resolution hybrid detector, 5-axis goniometer for in-plane and out-of-play analysis, and a microfocus. The Atomic Force Microscope is a perfect tool for morphology studies with sub-nanometric resolution. Mainly used in contact and semi-contact modes, it also performs analysis like lateral and electrical force imaging, phase imaging, spreading resistance imaging, magnetic resonance, Kelvin probe, and adhesion force imaging. The optical profilometer uses white light interferometry for fast 2D and 3D surface morphology for roughness and thickness determination. It includes three scanning modes, interferometric, confocal, and focus variation, with 0.2 microns resolution for the XY axis and 0.1 nanometer on the Z axis. The chemistry room is mainly dedicated to surface conditioning and thermal treatments of the samples. For this, several ovens are used, like the calcination oven, used to perform thermal treatments in air or under controlled atmosphere suitable for thermal treatments up to 1300 degrees. The acceptable sample size is 200 mm. The second available oven is a tubular furnace which, similar to the calcination oven, can be used to perform thermal treatments up to 1300 degrees under air or controlled atmosphere but also under vacuum, down to 10 to minus 5 millibar. The vacuum drying stove is mainly used in the drying process of the glassware. Other chemistry laboratory accessories are also available. Analytical balance, pH meter, stirring plates and an electrochemical station for nanowire synthesis with power supply, electrochemical cell, digital multimeter and so on.